So what type of athlete are you when you get on the field? Because off the field, you're clearly a good person. Like, you're a good human being. When you yeah. got on that field, did, 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 did a whole nother alter ego kick in? Did, 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 did you become somebody else on that field? Yeah. No, I, I was passionate, man. I played it the way it's supposed to be played. Um, but I was still a good dude. You know what I'm saying? I talked my trash and handled it. But I was just a competitor. You know how you got these dudes that compete? Like, I was the dude that I go up to the line to a receiver and be like, let's get a crowd. Their money's worth today. Like, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it in. Like, I ain't doing that. Are we going to take a playoff? No, we finna get the people what they came to see. I was that dude, right? Because I knew my family was there. Your family probably watching. And God done blessed us both with the opportunity. We finna go hard. We going to talk some trash. And at the end of the game, I'm going to dap you up and tell you good luck. But, you know, it wasn't – I wasn't a dirty player or nothing like that. What's the feeling like, in – you know, most of us, 90% of us on the planet, we're never going to walk out that tunnel. We're never going to look up and see an arena full of people. Mm -hmm. person like you coming from Atlanta, Atlanta, no coming doubt. from the dirty, dirty. No doubt. You had that opportunity to walk out on that field. Do you remember the first time you ever walked out and was actually put into the game? Oh, man, it was... It was amazing, man. Like, because when you come from Atlanta public schools, like, you in Atlanta. It's so much to do in Atlanta. So, cats ain't really coming to no football game on a Friday night like that. Like, I probably play, and we weren't good. Like, you get some schools like Doug, and you got Jamal Lewis's, they might pull the crowd. But when I played, I might have had like 100 people at the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, right inner city Atlanta, because we weren't doing it like that. So I go from 100 people to 108,000 in the stadium. And so when I go out there, it's like, this how it's supposed to be. Like, this the crowd I'm supposed to be playing in front of. And I was hyped, but more than anything, man, I was just grateful, man. Like, I was grateful I had that opportunity and I felt as if, if I did it right, I can get some cats on my high school team an opportunity. Because we had a reputation, right? Like, one of my cats from my high school team, I was like, bro, when I go to college, if I do it right, you're going to get more scholarship offers than me, right? You're going to handle your business. And he did, right? He went to Mississippi State, but he got kicked out, right, from shooting at a cat at a gas station. You understand? So when I went out, it was a different perspective in terms of when I was playing, how I conducted myself, even until his day in, in my business dealings and how I, how I carry myself. Wow. Can you talk to me about the day you found out that you was actually going to be a number one draft pick? Yeah, man, it was, um, it was wild, man. I was watching film um, on the California Bears at the time, and they had Deshaun Jackson, they had Marshawn Lynch, um, Justin Forsett had a stacked team, and I was just studying them because we was going to kick the season off with him. And what my year defensive you went backs into coach. Play? I'm going into my junior year. You're going into yeah, your junior yeah. year. Yeah, so it's the summer, right, going into my junior year. And, um, you know, I, that would have been my second year starting. And so um, I'm sitting there, and my defensive backs coach comes in, Larry Slade, and he's like, Inc., I got some great news for you. And I dropped the click. I was like, what's up, coach? What you got? And he hands me like a first sheet of paper. He was like, you're on track to graduate in three years. I was like, man, that's awesome. Like, that was one of my goals. And he hands me the second sheet. And he was like, you're projected uh, first round draft pick. You're projected top 30 draft pick. And he said, just do what you've been doing, man. You, you and your family be well taken care of. And I thanked him. And I ran out of the room, called my mother and grandmother, man. And was like, after this season, like, we'll never struggle again. Like, we'll never miss another meal. Like, I got you. you know? Wow. So all you had to do is do what you have been doing since seven years old. Absolutely. And play the game that you love. Yes, sir. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.